In this video tutorial, I'll use the Hydrologic Modeling Wizard in WMS to build a basic Geisha model. Geisha is short for Gridded Surface Subsurface Hydrologic Analysis, which is a physically based distributed parameter hydrologic model. I'll start by opening the Hydrologic Modeling Wizard. This will guide me through the modeling process. I won't assign the project a file name because it will be saved as a Geisha project file later. The coordinate system for this project has already been defined but here I have the option to change it. In this step, I'll select DEM data, land use data, and soil type data to import into WMS. I can see the data in the graphics window behind the wizard. Now I'll run Topaz to compute flow directions and accumulations. When Topaz finishes, I can define the outlet for the watershed and delineate the watershed. Now I can initialize the Geisha model parameters. In this step, I'm able to interact with and set attributes for streams and stream branches. For this project, I'll use a generic trapezoidal channel to represent the streams. I'll set the spacing of the vertices on the stream arcs. and I'll smooth the stream segments to fix anomalies in the DEM. Now I'm ready to create the 2D grid, and I'll set the cell size to 90 meters. Here I can set up the Geisha timing data. This model will run for 36 hours with a 6 second time interval. Next I need to create land use and soil type coverages from the shape files I imported earlier. This is a simple process using the GIS to feature objects wizard. Notice how the LU code is mapped over from the land use shape file and the texture is mapped over from the soil shape file. The land use coverage and the soil type coverage spatially distribute the land use and soil type data over the 2D grid. Next, I'll assign roughness, infiltration, and initial moisture parameters to be spatially distributed with the appropriate land use and soil type index maps. To assign initial moisture parameters, I need to enable infiltration. I'll import the parameters for land use and soil type from a table and then manually assign initial moisture. I'm now ready to set up Geisha job control parameters. I'll select diffusive wave for the channel routing and select to output surface depth, infiltration depth, channel flow, and channel depth. In this step, I'll define precipitation data. I'll use a 24-hour type 1 storm with an average depth of 62.4 millimeters. I'll accept the default options to clean up the model, Save the project and run Geisha.
After Geisha finishes, I can view the output hydrograph, and view the change in water depth as time changes. This concludes this video tutorial. Additional post-processing options for Geisha are demonstrated in a separate tutorial.